Hey YouTube, it's Sci Computer Tutorial again. I'm going to be focusing today just um, what most of you probably know, which is personalization for um, Windows Vista. You, first of all, here, right click, click on personalize at the bottom. Uh, Okay, first we'll do, we'll go through each one of these. First we'll do Windows Color and Appearance. So I'll click that. Okay, then if I want Windows Classic, you know, like Windows 2000, whatever, Windows, Windows Standard, Windows Classic, just go with Windows Classic. Or High Contrast White or High Contrast Black. And then all of these. But I'll just go for Classic for now. And then you can do advanced and then change the desktop colour and background just how you want them. And then hit OK. Now that with the please wait um icon. And then it's changed. So this is uh it with just like the Windows two thousand and stuff. Ah. So and then desktop desktop background. You can change this, uh public pictures, sample pictures. Okay, for now I'll just change it to that whale. Or look, and there's the pic there's the whale. Oi. So I'll change it back to what it was before. Oh. Ah. Lost it. Okay, so that's the Windows background. And change the screensaver to the Windows logo. Or you can change the screensaver. This is the Windows logo. Okay. And then that's some football thing. Change it to 3D text, which you can then think. Yeah, then you can edit. Yeah, what's it doing? There you go. Edit it to custom text. I'll put it to There you go. And then choose font. Have it as that. And it's got like all the standard fonts and that. that's what it that's what it'll look, look like when it goes into change the font again. Into uh, just change it to Arial Black, which it doesn't seem to have. Uh, there you go. Click OK, and then you can choose high resolution, large, rotation speed, medium, seesaw. There you go. You can change everything. So this is this is it now. Don't know if you can see it. Okay, so that's the screensaver. You can change the sounds. So that um that's the normal um there you go, hear that. That's the normal one. Mm. And then you can 
can change the um, uh, names and oh, the sound region. I'll just keep them with the defaults, but you can play around with them, click OK, change them and everything. Now I'll do mouse mouse pointers. Mine, the ones that change colour as you go over different stuff, is the Windows Inverted System Scheme, but you can have it as the bronze, that, bronze arrow, arrow, so here, look, this. You can have it as the help select. Ah, right, ah. So I'll just put it back in the inverted, my normal one. And then you just have a play around with all these. It's my normal one. Okay, so now the theme. The theme is that thing at the bottom. And the background as well. So if I change it to Windows Vista. Please, you can just have a look through them all again. Okay, now, now it's, my mouse pointer's gone back and everything, but this is just th themes which, sort of like, the complete version, it comes with the, comes with the mouse pointer, the, um, bar thing there, and the start menu. And then display settings finally. This is more for you personally, what you like most, but it makes a big difference. Say I wanted the whole thing just so the oh wait one more thing before I go. The taskbar and start menu. You can change to like classic start menu, so okay. And then it's like all of this, everything with a lot of rubbish. Okay, so that's but then I just like it. The classic but not classic. Vista one. But then you can as well change the task bar. So look here, uh, lock the task bar, keep the task bar on top of other windows, which are like auto hide the task bar. So look when I auto hide. Uh, yeah, so that's um, that was really my tutorial. So thanks for watching it. Now I've got to go around changing back all my default settings. Thanks, YouTube. Bye.